to requests on social media. Many of, you, many of you are sharing stories of survival and asking for our crews to come to your community. Our Jason Puckett is back in Polk County to show us the difficulties when it comes to getting around certain areas and introduces us to one man who helped to clear trees and damage for his neighborhood. Yeah, we're seeing the comments from folks wondering if why we're not going further out into the mountains or if those roads are even passable. I want to show you one of the real world examples we're seeing out here. This is a bridge near Tryon and it is not only impassable, the bridge is in the process of collapsing here. You can see it's down a couple feet here. There are huge cracks in the asphalt and pavement here. And Zach and I are going to step over here to kind of show you how this happened. There's a massive pile of debris built up against the bridge here that was shoved against it during the storm. This isn't just trees and limbs. This is parts of people's lives. There's a mattress, shoes, fuel tanks, a dog bed. Zach actually saw, if you can see it on camera over there, a dumbbell sitting on top of this debris showing you how big and how massive this pile is. We also want to show you some footage we took earlier in the week just driving down the roads here. Some of them are fine, some of them are not. There's really no rhyme or reason right now and there's no real way of knowing ahead of time which are open. We actually spoke with one man who took it upon himself to clear the roadway for him and his neighbors. Yeah, yeah, I I had to clear it out because the wife just had surgery a couple weeks ago and in case something happens, I need to be able to get out of here. And like I said, we're, we board horses, so I was worried about the people coming in to check on their horses. So yeah, the reality is that some roads are getting better, but this is also a very true thing we're seeing in a lot of places, roads that are impassable. It's tough for us to get in as the media, even tougher for the folks who live out here to get in and out of their homes, many of which we're finding still haven't been contacted or are still struggling to get back into those major thoroughfares. We're gonna be out here covering this. If you know of more areas that need coverage, make sure you let us know. For now here outside of Tryon, Jason Puckett, WBTV on your side. All right, thanks, Jason. And right now, people across the Carolinas are doing what they can to help those affected by Helene. Right now, the Charlotte Knights are partnering with iHeartMedia for a big supply drive at Truist Field in Uptown. That event goes on until 7 o'clock tonight. Now, here's a list of some of the supplies organizers are looking for. We're told everything that's donated will then be airdropped to those hard-hit areas in western North Carolina. And there are ways, other ways, you can help those victims of Hurricane Helene. If you scan that QR code on your screen there, you visit helenehelp.org. It'll take you to a secure donation page through the Salvation Army. You can find more ways to give back, volunteer information, and more by going to our website, wbtv.com.